even when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gonna have you jealous uh. I know that I YouTube's good out boys and girls We back with another video man today Y'all see the title Y'all see what we got So we have somebody named Mac Lethal And um But all the dissing going on As y'all been noticing um Y'all said this dude is uh this time too. Like, especially with the this from church yesterday we re react to. Y'all said this dude Mac Lethal had this time too. So apparently Tom made he actually made response videos too. I think it's like two of them. So we we reacting to one of them after this one, then we're gonna react to the other one uh tomorrow. But um I yeah, his name is Mac Lethal. So uh and the song is called Single White Female. Hmm. All right, let's 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 see what he got. Without further freaking do, I'm gonna try not to be biased, but anywho, let's get right into it. I got a little story about a single white female. Her name is Tammy, but you'll need some fine details. She gets up on the internet and argues with strangers, cause inside she's full of insecurity and anger. So I'm gonna assume this is towards Tom. Okay. Oh Lord. This is like he got messy. She tries to be edgy, that's her rap ploy. But back in the day, she was a frat boy. She says everybody hates her, but no one even cares. So now I'm gonna grab the bitch and throw her by the hair. Hey yo, single white female, it's time to make the J burn. Where's your fucking balls, bitch? You acting like you gray worm. How you gonna let a little tweet hurt your feelings? Did I bruise your ego, little girl? What are you revealing? Your whole fucking gimmick is claiming everybody's too PC and sensitive. So why you want some victim shit? If somebody don't like you, that's Shed straight troubles you. Why the fuck you acting like an SJW? Oh man, like y'all, I can't. I I'm sick of like I'm. Uh, okay, with church is somewhat. I mean, cause cause now Mac Lethal is saying the same stuff church was saying about uh, Tom being a victim and. Saying that, you know, he, he says people are sensitive, but he's being, he plays victim and stuff. Lord. Like, what is going on? It's too much dissing going on. Now, this is old. This is this stuff is old, but still. Like, it's, it's too much dissing going on, like, today. Like, right now. Like, who would have thought, even after all these years, how I'm finna be in some more, more diss drama? Lord have mercy. You rapping like you want to make America great again, but you're not even American, Tammy. You're Canadian. You live in the safest fucking country in the world, and you act like you're oppressed, man. You're such a little girl. Okay, hold on. Now, the Mac, it's lethal. I, I'm going to have to correct you on that. <laughs> Canada is by no means the safest. It, I mean, it's potentially up there, but... I've heard, I've seen, I, we've seen, we've seen even videos. I think even Drake has said this. If you're not known in certain parts in Canada, you will be like, you're, you're going to be in some, some stuff. You're going to be in some shit. You can't be, you know, you can't just wander off anywhere in Canada and think you're safe. So to say you're safe. In Canada, no, you're not. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. If you're in the wrong place in Canada, you are not safe. You're not. Like I hate to tell y'all. Like there are a lot of good parts in Canada. Don't get don't get me wrong, but don't just go. Do not, please, y'all, do not go to Canada thinking you are safe. I'm not. You know, I'm not. I don't live in Canada. I'm not from Canada, but I've seen stuff and I pay attention very well. And I know I'm not stupid, y'all. Like I know Canada's not a thousand percent safe. Like, there are some places in the world that are actually, like, 100% safe. Like, for example, I give, I, like, for example, uh, what is it, Switzerland? It, it's Switzerland, right? I think it's Switzerland. Places like Switzerland, or is it Sweden? No, 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 it's Switzerland. Switzerland, Romania, Dubai. Like, these are places that's, like, completely safe. And when I say completely safe, I mean like if you try to rob somebody, you try to steal somebody's stuff, you're going to prison and you're not getting out. So no, like you can literally leave your stuff out in like certain places, and you will not. Nothing will happen to you. Like nobody's gonna rob you. Nobody. You can walk around with chains if you wanted to, 
especially in Dubai and oh Japan too. Japan is another like really safe place because they don't they don't play that over there either. So yeah, there's places way safer than Canada, and I don't want y'all thinking Canada is like just oh you go there you said no like you better you still make sure you in the right place because every place that we being honest got its safe places and dangerous, but the countries I named specifically they don't have there's no there's no danger anywhere over there. So, but like I, is it Sweden or Switzerland y'all or is it both? It's one it's one of those. I think it's I think it's Switzerland. It's the it's the blue oh, is it what what what's the the blue and white flag? It's the blue and white flag. That, so I think that's Switzerland. Oh, man, y'all let me know in the comments, please. Oh Lord, y'all let me know in the comments. But anywho, y'all get the point. Y'all get the point. So Mac, y'all, I don't know about that one. I mean, you're Canadian. You live in the safest fucking country in the world, and you act like you're a press man. You're such a little girl. Speaking of little girls, you want to diss my daughter? Damn, that's a cheap shot. That's so damn disgusting, man. Well, I can throw cheap shots too. Let's talk about the fact your girlfriend used to suck off R.A. the rugged man. You oh shoot, what the heck? So hold on. So Tom bring up Matt. So he bring up Max daughter. Oh Lord, Dad, this must have got heated if Tom did that. This must have really got heated. And then he said something about his girl. I know he not. He ain't talking about Nova. No way. Nah, Nova. Well, I don't know. I don't really know Tom and Nova's history, but they seem like a very happy couple. Want to say I'm rapping filler? Your girl is a king of the dot groupie that be letting rappers filler. We got mutual friends. They gave me dirt. These are facts. Your girlfriend ghost writes half your raps on YouTube. The biggest video of mine has more views than all your fucking videos combined. Speaking of YouTube, you claim that I'm irrelevant. I got two million more fucking subscribers than you do. Ooh, okay, this yeah, man, this didn't age well at all, buddy. Cause um. Mind y'all, um, by the way, Mac, I, um, on his channel, he didn't post, like, it's been like 11 months since Mac posted on, on his account, which is, that's insane for one, and then, as y'all can see, Mac's views have dropped tremendously, like, the more, he, like, when he started, it's, it seemed like he tried to come back, but the views kind of, like, dropped still, like, they, the more he was posting, the more they dropped, so... I'll give y'all a quick little recap on YouTube and like how it works. Well, let y'all know how YouTube works. So, you kind of, you basically have to consistently post on YouTube to really keep up good views. I mean, the more involved you post, like, if you post, like, say somebody that's posting, like, five, six videos a day versus somebody who's posting, like, 10 to 12 a day, that person with 10 to 12 videos is going to... They're going to blow up, like, quick. They're going to blow up quick. Now, depending on what niche you're in, too. If you do a lot of editing, then something for you would be, like, a, a, a video or two a day. Especially if you do professional editing and you're doing, like, you know, videos. Like, two videos a day. Three videos a day. Like, yeah, you're going to skyrocket. But a reaction channel, like, we kind of have to post in volume. The ones that's serious and, like, want to, you know. The only people you don't really see posting in volume are the ones that's, like, already established. Like, you know, No Life Shack and, um, there's some other people, too, who have a pretty decent following. Knox, what, you can say he's a rapper slash reactor, but y'all get the point. If you real established, you can get away with posting, like, two two to three reactions a week or something like that. But if you're not well established and you're trying to take it serious, you, you like me, you better be posting a lot, like, every day. Like, today, as y'all can see, we posted a lot, and it's gonna stay like this for... The rest of, like, all of February, all of March, like, we gotta, yeah, you know, I'm trying to get the thing to me, I get, that's not the point. Anywho, um, yeah, so, if you, if you're, if you're not consistent and you're not well established on YouTube yet, it's gonna be really hard for you to come back and try to, like, post, because by that time, a lot of people that was, like, for one, you're not in the algorithm, and then for two, if people, like, seeing you not post as much, and then you try to come back and post, they're not going to even care that much to begin with. So not only are they not going to even see you, they're not going to even care to see you or like search you up and be like, oh, I wonder how such and such has been. They're not going to care. 
So not only will you be out the YouTube, like you'll be out the algorithm, but people not gonna care unless you when you come back you on some like I gotta get it back kind of stuff, and you start consistently uploading. But other than that, you can't just t take breaks and then try to come back and like no. And now YouTube work. So yeah, I can get y'all a little tip on how YouTube for any future YouTubers out there, but. Yeah, Mac, this definitely didn't age well, buddy, because Tom is doing amazing. So, uh, this one right here is kind of debunked. So, uh, yeah, Tom definitely got the last laugh for this one. You wear women's clothes and Nicki Minaj braids because you got to hide the fact that you secretly got AIDS. You think that I'm not paid? Silly bitch, I'm a millionaire. You want proof? Meet me at the bank and I'm going to kill you there. White on white violence. Damn, it's snowing. You're the fucking rap equivalent of Candace Owens. I heard you block people on Twitter because they told you Mac Lethal is bigger. Sweet Jesus, you're bitter. Oh, man. Okay. Um. Now, I've heard about Candace Owens, too. Um... If y'all want me to react to Candace, by the way, I probably should get into Candace. I'm I'm interested to uh We might as well. We didn't did well, we haven't been reacted to Brick yet, Brick Cooper yet, but we will. And then, you know, we've been doing Ben Shapiro, so we might as well bring Candace on us over here. Yeah, why not, y'all? But um Yeah, like Mac, I don't know, man. Like some of these I mean, I get, you know, he's talking about his hair and stuff, but still, it's like, mm. Somebody having pink hair is not really, that's not, they don't make them, you know, they don't make them LGBT or nothing, like, you know, I don't know, it, it depends on how you do it and depends on how you go about it, but I mean, I don't know. What's the matter, Lele Pons? Did my lethal injection get stuck in your JJ wrong? Aw, oh, what's the matter, Meth Lamore? You need another stupid white boy gimmick to move some units at the record store? You're not a lyricist. You're not controversial. No one is offended by you, and that really hurts you, bro. You lie about your height. You're not 6'5", you little man. You look like Kid Rock had a meth baby with Lil Xan. Oh, man, yeah. This, this, this beef must be deep. I got to hear what Tom said after this. I don't know if... I tried to react to react. I'm t I try to get the one that's in order because Tom he has two in response to Mac Luther. So I'm assuming I picked the right one first, and then we're gonna get to the second one. Like I said tomorrow, but yeah, this beat this this actually like they really got into it. Look like Lil Pump had a crack baby with bad baby. What's the matter, Elsa? Why you acting sad lately? I'm a martial artist. You fake wrestle, bitch. You aren't the man, but you do look like Becky Lynch. In your diss song, you tried to say that I was gay, right? You're the motherfucker that be dressing up in gray tights. See, you and other half-naked men can fucking play fight. You just need an excuse to lay there and take pipe. In America, hog is another word for dick, which is the reason that you have it tatted underneath your lip. Yeah, this this must have got heated. This must have got crazy because, yeah, what the hell? This really must have got crazy because Mac Lethal is talking crazy. But I mean, he okay, so he he's spitting, he's spitting. Like I'm not gonna discredit Matt and say Mac and say he's not spitting, but some of these is definitely debunked and not true, y'all. I mean, we can be honest. But anywho. Cause you love dick, bro. You give enough head. You wear nail polish, motherfucker. Nuff said. Okay, that's a fake picture, buddy. You're not, you're not sleep. That's a fake picture. Hold on. Cause you love dick, bro. You give enough head. You wear. Nah, this is that's not real. That's not a that's not a real picture. That's Photoshop. That's Photoshop, buddy. Nail polish, motherfucker. Nuff said. You ain't skilled, be quiet. You look like Billie Eilish did too many pills and got filled with violence and killed her stylist. I heard your diss, bitch. I ain't bust a sweat. You diss ICP, homie. Your girl's a juggalette. You say I'm in my 30s like this shit is a bad thing. I'm healthy and I'm rich and I'm living my rap dreams. My kids go to a nice private school. I got a sick fucking house. I own my own pool. How the fuck you gonna try to say I'm having an identity crisis? You're a 30-year-old man dressing like this oh lord I, i'm i'm a little curious though on mac um so he i know he, he's he's saying all this stuff about him having money and stuff and all this but like i told you it's been like 11 months since he's posted on youtube so i'm just kind of curious and interested like what 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 where would his money be coming from now like what what is he doing now if y'all know y'all let me know but it seemed like mac just completely fell off the youtube 
Like, it just seems like he completely fell off of YouTube, y'all. Correct me if I'm wrong, because, I mean, I don't know. A lot of this stuff, especially now, is debunked, so. But, like, Matt can rap. That's the thing. Like, he can actually rap. But maybe this hit when it first released, but it definitely don't have, like, substance now. That's for sure. So... How the fuck you gonna try to say I'm having an identity crisis? You're a 30 year old man dressing like this. I wear normal clothes. I don't need controversy and shock value. I grab the mic and pour my soul. Let this shit be a lesson in how you thirst fame. From here on out, your name is infinitely curse main. Cause if you say your last name, you have to say my first name. Bitch, my fucking rap name is in your fucking birth name, Mac! Oh, shoot. Well, I mean, he, he, okay, he had a point with that. <laughs> Mac Lethal Tom, okay, Mac is in Tom's name. Okay, so, this wasn't bad. This, I, that's why, I, like I said, I think this hit a lot harder when it first dropped, which makes sense. But now, it's like, hearing this now, and then seeing where Tom is versus seeing where Mac is, it's like, it's like, you know, it, it didn't age well. I'm pretty sure a lot of people, I mean, like I told y'all, when you, not posting for a certain amount of time and you not well that well established on YouTube, even people with millions of followers. Like, if you're not on somebody like Corey Kenshin level, ISO Speed level with YouTube or Mr. Beast, like, you cannot take breaks, long breaks, and then expect to trend or expect to be in the YouTube algorithm. You just don't have the follow base for that. Like, that's why I even... When I see people who have millions of, of like a hundred million, two million, y'all technically not that safe either. I mean, unless y'all investing with with the main, then y'all doing side stuff. But if YouTube is your main source and you kind of like cut it cut it down, like when you get like a million, two million followers, then that's in my opinion, it's just not smart. Because I'm telling y'all right now, whenever I hit a million followers, two million, I'm still posting like. At least a good eight videos every day. At least. So, yeah, I'm, I'm telling y'all now. <laughs> so, yeah, like right now it's 12. But when we get up, it's going to be like, I like eight. Yeah, good eight. But anywho, that's going to do it for this one. Y'all even know y'all thoughts and know what y'all think. And, um, I mean, it was, like I said, I'm pretty sure this hit a little harder when Mac first dropped it. But hearing it right now and then seeing. Where both of their life is it? I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's not hitting too hard. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Mac can rap though. I give him that. He can rap. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Anywho, y'all stay safe, out of trouble. Love y'all, and I see y'all next one. Now bye.